Hello, thank you for clicking. Today we're going to be looking at two-way tables or they are also commonly referred to as contingency tables. Now, they're called two-way tables because they're representing two variables, one in the rows and one in the columns. So here you can see age and favorite fruit and those are the two variables of interest. In the rows, we have our ages, and the appropriate way to set up these contingency tables is to have the rows represent the explanatory variable. Now remember, in the explanatory response, explanatory is explaining, and then the columns is the response variable. So here we would expect that age would dictate the type of response you have for favorite fruit. Now, in each of the cells, we have what's called an observed count. So that is a unique combination between the age and the favorite fruit. So children who like berries, there's 35. Children who like melons, there's 30. Children who like citrus, there's 10. Children who like tropical, there's 20. Children who like core, it's 10. Children who like pits, it's 5. So then if you were to add all of those up, you would come up with a total for that row. So 110 is how many children were in this sample. Now if you continue, you also will notice that when you add up 110 and 105, it gives you the grand total, which is 215. If you add up all of the cells at the bottom, those totals would also sum to 215. So the total row sums to 215, the total column sums to 215. And if you took every observed count, so for the adults and the children, for all the berries, so all of the individual observed counts, that would sum to 215 as well. Also, you'll notice that each observed count sums to the total in that column. So 35 plus 20 gives you 55, 30 plus 15 gives you 45, and so on and so forth. So hopefully this helps you to understand contingency tables a little bit more. In future videos, we'll talk about some calculations that you can do uh, inside each of the cells or inside the contingency table itself. See you then.